Hello, quick bit of revision on fractions and how to add them and subtract them. So addition and subtraction. I'm just going to do three simple examples. So the first type is when you have the same denominator. So uh, three sevenths minus two sevenths. Well, this is a nice one because the same denominator means you can just subtract the numerators. That means the ones on top. So we know the answer is going to be over 7, and to get the numerator, 3 take away 2 is 1. Easy peasy. Second kind, <coughs> this is when you've got two different denominators, but um, one of them can be made into the other. So, for example, um, let's have uh, 1 sixth plus uh, 5 twelfths. We look at that, 6 and 12. If you notice that the 6 goes into 12, so we can make the 6 into a 12. So we change both fractions to be over 12, and of course that means we don't have to change the second one. So the second one is set 5 twelfths, but the first one we look at what we have to do to make it into something over 12. So to get from 6 to 12 we have to double it, so we simply do the same thing here, times by 2 get two twelfths. So all we've done here is rewrite the first one of these. So it's still exactly the same sum, but now it's easy because I've got twelfths and twelfths. So my answer is going to be something twelfths. Two plus five is seven. And the last kind is when we've got two different denominators, um, but one of them cannot be made into the other. So let's take, uh, I don't know, five sixths minus three quarters. So we have to make the sum into something with a common denominator. So we have to make both denominators change. And we look for the smallest number that's a multiple of six and a multiple of four. So that's known as the lowest common multiple. Um, you can look at the six times table and the four times table. Um, alternatively you can multiply these two together and we get 24. We know that 24 would work but it's not the lowest common multiple of these two. The lowest common multiple of these two is 12. So let's put that in there instead. How do we make 5 sixths into something 12th? Well 6 to 12 we have to double it. So we do the same thing here. Double that so we get 10 twelfths. 3, uh, 4 to 12 we have to triple it times 3. So do the same thing here. Times by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 10 twelfths take away 9 twelfths. Now it's easy. It's all about the twelfths. 10 take away 9 is 1. That's my answer. See ya.